Welcome back guys. Today we'll be learning about maximum power transfer theorem. So let's get started. First we'll see the theorem definition or statement. So a resistive load abstracts maximum power from a network when the load resistance equals the internal resistance of the network as viewed from the output terminals with all energy sources removed and by replacing or leaving behind their internal resistances so the theorem states that a resistive load abstracts maximum power when the load resistance will be equal to the internal resistance of the circuit then the power drawn from the circuit will be maximum so to see the proof of the theorem let me draw a circuit which will be like this something suppose this is load resistance this is resistance and this is internal resistance and this is the emf so let us assume that current i i flows and so i will be equals to e upon r plus rl ri plus rl where let me write ri should be r plus small r so this is the internal resistance so power across the load resistance that is rl will be i square rl this will be i square is e upon r i plus r l whole square into r l so this will be e square r l upon r i plus r l whole square so for we know that when r i equals to r l power will be maximum and for maximum d p upon d r l must be equals to zero so now differentiating it we get e square r i plus r l whole square minus 2 r l r i plus r l and this will be r i plus r l whole to the power 4 this is using u by v differentiation this will equate to 0 and we will get r i plus r l equals to 2 l simplifying this we get this we see that r l is equals to r i which in turn is equals to r plus l so we see that r i r l and r i are equal so the internal resistance gets equal to the load resistance so the theorem is proved so let us also see an example how this theorem works so suppose we have a circuit of this kind this is a voltage source this is resistances again a voltage source now resistance and resistance suppose this is rl this is 10 ohm this is 20 volts this is 5 ohm and this is 10 volt so we need to find the value of rl for which the circuit will draw the maximum power and also find the maximum power so that is second part so what we have learned is that we first need, we need to remove all the sources and replace by the internal resistance and view it from the output terminal so we need to draw the circuit like this so when a voltage source is moved it gets short circuited and both this also gets short circuited so this looks something like this and it is open circuited because it is output terminal 
this is 5 and this is 10 now we need to view it from this direction so ri will be equals to 10 ohm and which in turn will be equals to rl for maximum power transfer so now this is the answer first to the first part so we need to find the current through it so current will be to voltage 20 upon 5 into 10 plus 10 plus this will be 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 yes and this will be equals to 5 plus 5 plus 10 plus 10 so solving this we get 1 ampere and the current first now we have first used the superposition theorem for calculating this we have eliminated this part and this acted as a single source so we calculated current through this so this came as 1 ampere and now the current now current to the 10 volt source through the 5 ohm resistances and 20 so this will be so maximum power will be i square rl this will be 1 square into 10 equals to 10 watt so this is the maximum power drawn when for maximum power transfer theorem so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you